Hello, I'm Ralph, and this is how to self-learn music production. So yeah, recognizing an expert. Um, things you need to pay attention to is who is that person you're learning from? What's their expertise? Um, oh, most of oh, most of information can be found in uh, by doing some initial research like googling to be honest um big names big names are often well described uh in the internet so when you stumble across a person uh, that might look familiar maybe that maybe you know them already or maybe you don't know them but they sound very Experty, I would say. Um, there is nothing wrong with putting their name in to Google and and looking for I don't know even Wikipedia page will tell you. Um, you're looking for people who who teach. Uh, you're looking for people who who are practicing the craft they are doing. You are looking for people who who are an experts in in their in their craft. Well, I can tell you that that in music, in music education, uh, especially in music production, there is not really right and wrong. There is all spectrum of that. So what you need to think about is not taking, not. You never want to end up with just one answer from one person. You always need to confront that. So sometimes it doesn't even need it, you don't even need an expert for that to to find a good piece of knowledge. Uh, if you watch three, four, five, ten uh, videos, YouTube videos about one topic. Um, You'll see who who is who told you what, and you'll probably like one more than than other. What is important to the important thing is to don't stop looking for the same piece of knowledge while self learning. You don't have a clear path to follow you you are creating your own path so it is it's normal and it's all right to to detour for a moment and look for or even stop at some point and spend more time in one place so yeah learning from professional is very crucial but you don't al always need an expert um, to learn something. Some, some people are as knowledgeable as, as some professionals in, in certain ways. Even though you watch a YouTube video from some sort of expert, you still should watch different videos on the same topic from other people, not, not really experts. Because that's again confronting your knowledge and that's, that's what makes you learn. Confronting your knowledge makes you learn. And you can confront your knowledge uh, against other people, against, uh, as I said before, practice. YouTube is a, is a place where everyone can um, post videos. That's blessing and a curse as well. So yeah, who's an expert? Um, you can learn from people like Bobby Ofshinsky, who is a um, recording engineer, and, and you can watch his um, course on uh, LinkedIn Learning. I would also like to, in this place, recommend that uh, one learning path, uh, becoming a music producer, I believe it's called. Um, that's 40, I believe, hours. Uh, of of a course, but that's well very well structured. It will walk you through all the uh, basic concepts that you need to understand in order to work in music industry. 
uh, it's from recording with Bobby Ovsinski uh, to learning your first DAW, um, going through basic music theory concepts as well. You get people like Jacob Collier, who is five times Grammy Award uh, musician, and he breaks down his production on his own YouTube channel. So that's something worth watching. You can also watch live streams uh, of Timbaland, who is judging um, productions that people send to him, that music producers send to him. Um, a lot of different videos about from, from producers who made different songs. There is um, a video with Martin Garrix uh, showcasing his song Animals. People like Avicii, uh, Phineas, who is working with as a, a producer for Billie Eilish, uh, he also breaks down some of his production. So that also, that's also a um, good piece of knowledge that you can learn from. Watching other people work, it doesn't even have to be um, information or the orientated video. Uh, you can watch people having fun with music, doing some weird stuff. You can always pick up some some of their workflows. That's what that's what you want to learn. Their workflows, how they approach problem solving. One at, at some point you gonna stumble across some. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have some problems, and then you gonna need to solve them quickly. And you're not gonna have time to watch some YouTube videos. So this is what you want to learn as well. Quick problem solving. There is also a, a there is also a channel from a person who is composing, who is who is doing uh, compressors, is making compressors as an effect. Uh, and he on his channel also provides some. Um, very good knowledge from there. Uh, so yeah, uh, you learn from experts, but you don't need experts to learn. Uh, that's my conclusion, I believe. Uh, learn from experts, you don't need experts to learn. But always try different things, confront your knowledge. And yeah, and look for a as much knowledge as much knowledge as you can find as, as you can as you can watch and what I'd recommend you doing is learning one concept at a time uh, mastering it being being sure that you 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 know that you acknowledge that and then moving to another if you need to take more time Take your time. Uh, there is no need to rush when you're learning. When you are learning, the the outcome of, of that learning uh, process is the most important thing, not the process of that.